Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can run Android applications on your Windows 11 PC and your Microsoft Surface device. When Microsoft announced Windows 11 over a year ago, they also announced the amazing feature of being able to run Android applications on your Windows PC. Fast forward a year and a bit later and we finally have that feature with a few caveats. The first caveat is around the hardware. So you're gonna need a minimum of an Intel 8th generation i3 processor AMD Ryzen 3000 or a Snapdragon 8CX. You're also gonna need a minimum of eight gigs, but a recommended 16 gigs of RAM. And of course, you need to run the Windows operating system of Windows 11 22H2 update. So just because your computer can run Windows 11 doesn't mean you're gonna be able to install and emulate Android applications on it. But if you do make those recommendations, awesome. We're gonna show you how to do that now. The other thing you're gonna need is of course an Amazon account. To run Android applications on a Windows 11 device isn't gonna be through the Google Play Store. Rather, right now, they're using the Amazon App Store instead. So to download applications, you're gonna need an Amazon account, not just a Google account. With that being said, let's jump on the computer right now. We're gonna go through a couple of steps to show you how to download, install, and get those Android applications running. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the Microsoft Store and we're gonna search for Amazon App Store. From here, we're gonna download the Amazon App Store and just simply go install. Here it's gonna tell us a few things about using the Amazon App Store on our PC. We're simply just gonna go set up gonna say yes, we're gonna allow this program to install. It's gonna need admin access, of course. It will take a few seconds for this dialog box to open. And then you can, of course, select on the option of help improve Microsoft products if you wanna send diagnostic updates. I care about this feature, so I'm gonna say yes, they can actually get some diagnostic data, but you don't have to do this if you don't want. And now I'm just gonna go download, and this is gonna get the PC ready for the Amazon App Store. One thing to also note is that you will have to restart your computer once or twice during this process because we're also going to change a few settings to allow virtualization on your computer. So what's happening now is it's downloading the Windows subsystem for Android. So it's not just like downloading another application because it's also downloading a subsystem of Windows on TPC. Depending on the computer you have, you may have to go into the BIOS or the UFI and also enable virtualization. On Surface devices, this is already enabled by default, but there are still a few settings we're gonna have to change to make sure we can actually run the application. Now that this is downloaded, we're simply just gonna go next, and then it's gonna need us to restart our PC. So let's do that now. You see that as soon as you restart your PC, the Windows subsystem for Android is actually gonna open up and it's gonna start installing this application. So on my Surface device, this has actually just gone straight into launching the App Store, but if you have a other device like a Dell or a HP or other sort of OEM, you will have to enable virtualization. I'll leave a link to Android Authority down below to show you how to do that on your specific uh, computer. Um, but on a Surface device, Microsoft has made this a really easy and simple process. So now we just have the application open up and we're just gonna sign into our Amazon account. So you can see I've signed in and I now have the Amazon App Store loading up. I'm gonna make this full screen here. And you can see we now have the Amazon App Store on here. We have our, we're signed in to our Amazon App Store. What I'd recommend now is going to the Start button going into all your applications and going into the Amazon App Store and then actually just right clicking and pinning this to your start menu if you want really quick access to it. So it's just gonna be here to launch straight into the App Store. And now we can start downloading all different sorts of applications. So if we go into the editors pick, let's see what they have. What you can see, and I think the biggest issue here right now is that the amount of applications on the Amazon App Store is nowhere near as vast or as uh, as many options that you have here as what you would have on the Google Play Store. I'm gonna download Angry Birds Friends just to show you how this is gonna work. Um, but what I've noticed is that aside from games, there's really not that many applications on the Amazon App Store that I'd use for my workflow and my productivity. But if you have any applications that you've wanted to emulate on 
Windows, let me know what it is and uh, it'd be great. I'd like to check it out, see if it's on here. Because um, right now I'm actually trying to see, aside from kids playing these games, what benefit there is to getting these applications running on here. Um, the Kindle for Android app is cool, but I can just use the Kindle application on my Windows PC. And if I look for something like, say, Netflix, for example, even though I can just use the web, um, I don't even have Netflix on here. So I'm still struggling to see the value of this right now, but let me know your thoughts on how you can use the Android applications through the App Store on Windows 11 and how it would make your use of your computer better. So let's go check if that game has downloaded. Now, applications. So you can see Angry Birds Friends. If you want quick access to this again, you can right click and you can go pin to start. Let's go back really quickly and let's just open that up. I'm also gonna launch my task manager to see how much or how little processing power this uh, application and the emulation uses. The computer is lagging a little bit, but it might be because it's just a hot day here in Australia. Um, in terms of what's using the most amount of um, processing power, this is a Surface Laptop 3 10th gen with uh, i7 16 gigs of RAM. Um, the Android subsystem, and if we drop that down, probably says Angry Birds. No, uh, but it's not using all that much in terms of processing power or RAM. Uh, do I want it notifications? I'm going to say no. So I've not played this game on the phone, but uh, so I haven't played this game for years, uh, but let's actually see how it goes. It does seem like it's lagging a little bit, which you'd expect a Android app to really just run a lot smoother, um, but I don't actually have a really smooth experience right now. Um, I can see it's essentially dropping frames and stuttering quite a bit. So I'm not sure if that's the best experience. I'm also not sure if that's because I'm also running screen recording with OBS. Uh, I'll let you know once I stop OBS. Actually, I'm gonna stop it now. I'm gonna jump to the phone recording and we'll see if that improves any of the functionality. All right, now we've stopped OBS recording. Let's um, see if this gets any smoother. Now that it's not using as much processing power running OBS, uh, it's still not the best really in terms of how smooth it is. I do keep noticing it's just lagging a little bit. It doesn't look as fluid as it should, but then again, it, that might just be me. Let me know what you guys think with the screen recording from the phone. Um, I mean, it's definitely playable. It's definitely usable. And it is kind of fun uh, to run your Android apps on here. But aside from running a few games, I'm still struggling to see the benefit right now of getting my Android applications emulating on Windows 11. Let's see what else they have. See if some of them are popular. So Instagram, you can't get on here. TikTok, I know they were showing how TikTok works. So you can get uh, TikTok, I don't have an account, but I guess you can download and uh, emulate TikTok on here. What about Facebook? Is there a Facebook application? Again, these apps, so you don't have uh, Facebook on here. They're really just a bunch of apps that I've never really heard of. What about YouTube? No, you just got those YouTube players on here. So to install Android applications on your Windows 11 computer is actually quite easy now. You go on the Windows Store and you download the Amazon App Store and that lets you install it. If you do have an OEM device like a Dell, HP, Lenovo, you also need to go into the BIOS and actually change and turn on emulation. I will actually link an article so you can see the steps and how to do that. On the Surface device, it's much more straightforward because 
Microsoft do want to make that a feature available for you straight away. But if you've got an OEM, I'll link the features down below. In terms of the applications that you can get from the Amazon App Store, yes, it's now easier to run and emulate Android apps on your Windows 11 PC, but going through that App Store, and this is my second or third time actually looking at it, there's really nothing in there right now that I'd be really wanting to download and install on my computer. It does work, and I mean, it, there was a little bit of lag in Angry Birds, as you guys saw. I'm not sure if that was because I was also running OBS and the computer was just getting hot because of the temperature here in Australia. Um, but it wasn't the most fluid experience. The catalog of applications on the Amazon App Store really isn't that great. Um, so hopefully they will allow Google applications to work on there as well as just those Amazon App Store ones. Because right now, aside from games, I'm not sure what else you'd really want to use it for. Um, if there are some apps or programs you've been waiting to actually install and run on your Windows 11 computer, let me know what they are and why you want to use it. And of course, if it's on the store, because I'd be really curious to know how people do really want to use this feature. Um, for me right now, I can't see the most use or benefits from it, but of course, I'd love to hear what you think. Well, there you guys have it. It is that easy to install Android applications on your Windows 11 and your Surface device. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.